YouTube, what's up? Back again for another daily fishing video here on Andrew Upshaw Fishing. Getting ready to head to the Bassmasters Classic down in Fort Worth. I'm going to be there Friday, Saturday, and part of the day Sunday. Uh, make sure you find me. I'll be in the Strike King Lose booth most of the time and be hopping around to some other sponsors. But for all of you that aren't able to be there, I'm going to be doing a bunch of different live segments so you can experience the Classic too. I hope you all enjoy that portion of it. But today's topic of discussion is going to be centered around topwaters, but big topwaters. And is there such thing as a topwater that is too big? So we're going to really break this down a little bit, and I hope you all enjoy what you're about to see. But yeah, hey, real fast though, if you have not subbed to this channel, there's a subscribe button in the bottom right-hand corner. Go ahead and hit that real fast for me. And, and comment below. I would love to know what it is. What is your favorite big topwater? Is there one particular one that you love to throw? Drop it down in the comment section. I'll try to get to it as fast as I can and as convenient as I can. But hey, like the video if you can, and I hope you enjoy it right after this. All right, guys, today's topic of discussion is going to be talking about big topwaters, not just your standard size sexy dog or, you know, something like that. We're talking a little bit larger than average. So I would say a sexy dog, a three hook sexy dog is going to be your average size of walking bait. You know, and when you look at like a Super Spook Junior, this is Super Spook Junior. When you look at comparison in size, it's a, a tiny bit smaller. But you know, there's also some really big topwaters. And, and that's the actually the question I probably get more than anything is, when should I pick up the really big ones? Well, it kind of depends on where you're at. So there's certain lakes that I've been to in this country that you don't really need the really big ones because they're not feeding on big stuff. But you get to a lake that has big fish in it, a Gunnersville, Kentucky Lake, Okeechobee, Sam Rayburn, Toledo Bend, and that's just naming a couple. Clear Lake, California. I got a bunch of West Coast guys that watch this channel. When you get to those big fish lakes that eat big bait, a big topwater is definitely a good way to go. And this right here is the Mega Dog. I mean, as you can see, this is the normal sexy dog. This is the Mega Dog. I mean, it's considerably larger. It's a, I mean, dude, this thing is huge. But to cast this thing, you need the right gear. You need a, like a 7-Eleven. Uh, well, I actually throw it on like a swim bait rod, basically. Um, and it's because the top water is so heavy. But it's funny, you know, this Mega Dog came out like, I want to say it was last year, year before last. And I've caught quite a few fish on it. And it's a lot of fun, especially when they get on it big time. But, you know, I grew up throwing big, big top waters. Pencil poppers, the original pencil popper. Not the evergreen, but the OG original pencil popper. Definitely was a big fish catcher. And if you look at a lot of herring lakes, that pencil popper still to this day absolutely shines. And there's certain places that it's better than others. But I, so this is how I'm going to break it down for you. So it, it's a weird timeline how top waters work. So right now you can pick up a three hook sexy dog, uh, a vixen, a super spook, something like that. And you're going to catch some bass and you might catch them pretty good, especially early in the morning or if they're feeding or if you have a cloudy day or a rainy day, that's when those fish are really going to feed up on that. And it's weird. So it's a weird transition. So it goes from like summertime when we're here in June. And as it gets to July, August, I actually, that's when I have to downsize my top water. That's when I go to a Sexy Dog Junior, a su Super Spook Junior, the smaller top waters. It, it's, I think a lot of it has to do with pressure and like they, they need an easier meal. That big meal is just, I mean, they want to eat it, but they're just not quite ready to commit to it. And as it starts to get to the fall, like the first, I'd say like typically where it turns over for me is about September. So when it gets to about mid-September to late September, that's when the big mega dog comes into play. And that's also when on traditional lakes, and I'm not saying herring lakes, traditional lakes that just eat gizzard shad, threadfin shad, perch, um, tilapia, places like that. That's when that big pencil popper really starts playing on these lakes, not not your herring lakes, but these lakes, because they're eating such bigger bait. And it's a weird thing. So like you'll go out there one day and you'll be smashing them on that sexy dog junior or that super spook junior. And you'll be just catching a bunch of fish and all of a sudden, like your size goes away and you're catching like 10 incher, 12 incher, 14 incher. And before you might've been catching some four and five pounders, you know, maybe one or two a day, something like that. Well, that's actually when that transition starts to happen. 
and, and it, I don't really understand why. Like, I don't know if it's just because the water starts cooling and those those big gizzards and big shad and, and bluegill and all that start pushing up. But it's really a weird transition how those fish pull up. You know, and, and that's like one of my favorite times of fish is when they start eating that big top water. But right now, guys, is a fantastic time to throw big top water. You know, uh, one of my favorites is throwing a solid black. You know, we have it in the... Uh, this is the uh, KVD Splash. This is the big one. Uh, I really love throwing this bait this time of year. Solid black, guys, is, is one of the most overlooked topwater colors there is. We've thrown black buzz baits forever. I mean, you and I both, like, if, you, if you've ever fished and you've fished in the south at all, you've tied on a black buzz bait and you've gone to town on them. Well, a lot of times we tend to forget that sometimes we need solid black topwaters too because they don't want to just follow a buzz bait and eat a buzz bait that's moving the whole time. That slow and steady retrieve of maybe that big KVD splash or a, a, a black sexy dog can be really, really good. So a few of my favorite Magnum topwaters, obviously the Mega Dogs one, it's a little more subtle, but it's huge, okay? I mean, it's a really, really big bait. I also like the Evergreen. Uh, they have a, a 125. They actually have one, I think it's like a 150. They're really big. I mean, they're like the size of the Mega Dog, but they're pencil poppers. I love to go, I, I kind of alternate between the big Mega Dog and the big pencil popper, and it has everything to do with the conditions. So when you're picking that big bait up and you're trying to hunt for that one really, really big fish, it's all conditional. So if I'm more of on a calm day or maybe a slight chop on the water, um, sunny or calm, you know, sunny or, or cloudy, doesn't really matter. It's more of a uh, how the water condition is. So like if it's, is it choppy? Is it windy? Is it not windy? That's when I really pay attention to that. So I'll throw the big mega dog whenever it's just calm to choppy, like real, real slight chop, because they can find it. And I mean, they don't really have that hard a time finding this thing because when you slash it, I mean, it's going coo, 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 all the way across the water. So you can't miss it. But as that chop gets bigger and this thing starts disappearing, and it will, it looks big in person. But in reality, like, it's no bigger than a five-inch gizzard chad. And these fish, especially big ones, will eat seven, eight, nine-inch gizzard chad. That is an absolute fact. So really, in the, the scheme of what bait you're trying to Im imitate, it's not that big. So, but if once that chop really gets going, that's when I go to the pencil popper, okay? So that's when you really want to key in on that pencil popper because it makes a lot more disturbance on the water because it has a cupped lip like a popper. It has a lip just like this one. So when you're popping that thing, it's still walking the dog like, like the big mega dog will. It's walking, 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 but it's spitting water every time too. And that's when you will catch some gigantic bass. Uh, you want to fish it like that because that's, that's the way that they really target it. Now, one, I'm going to call it my honorable mention top water when you start talking big top waters because there's bigger ones than this. Uh, but this is the OG. This is the one that I use and I still use to this day. And that is the 130 Whopper Plopper. The 130 Whopper Plopper, a lot of guys now throw the like 110 and the 90 and the 75. And they throw the Chopo. They throw a bunch of different ones. There's a bunch of different ones out there. But the OG 130 Whopper Plopper is still considered a big bait. And it's still considered one of the best big baits when you're targeting big fish and especially right now when those bluegill are spawning and you got to cover water you got to cover the bank and you got to put your troll motor on high rocky reservoirs ones with a lot of cover this is definitely one you want to have tied on it's definitely one that stays in my tackle box this top water box is kind of what i consider my big top water box it has some really old big baits in there and i'm not going to show you all of them but guys, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed the breakdown of the big Magnum topwaters, when to fish them and how to fish them. That will definitely help you catch more fish the next time you're out there. Also, if you are at the Bassmasters Classic, make sure you come by and say hi. I'd really love to meet you. I have a lot of friends and subscribers that, uh, that I've met all over the place. So make sure you come and say hi. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure you like and comment below what is your favorite big bait. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you on the next one.